Hello everyone, my name is Azri and welcome to Azri M Music Studio. In today's video I want to show you how to locate your samples, your MIDI files, your sound packs that are located elsewhere in your computer. They might be on your desktop or on another drive like your local disk D or any other secondary drive that might be on your computer. I've made this video so that I can help those who are new to FL Studio and those who feel like they are running out of space in their main drive. I think most computers come with about 150 gigabytes of space in their main drive and about 750 gigabytes of space in their secondary drive which is usually called local disk D. So I think it is better to have our samples, kits and all other music files in the secondary drive. So now let me show you how to do this. I recently downloaded a sample pack by Slate Digital called Empress. The entire sample is about 1.64 gigabytes in size and I don't want it to be in my main drive, I want it to be in local disk D which is my secondary drive. So as you can see on my desktop I have already unzipped my sample pack but I want FL to recognize it in local disk D so this means that I have to move this sample folder into local disk D but I'm going to move it in a folder which is called A1 Music Samples. A1 music folder at the moment doesn't have anything inside as you can see. So now let me move the sample inside A1. So as the files are being moved, my aim is to make sure that my sample files get recognized in folder A1. So in the future, if I decide on adding another sample into folder A1, FL Studio will be able to detect it. But for this video, I'm only using one sample pack as an example. So now it looks like the file has been moved to folder A1. So let's go back to FL Studio and make it recognize our sample folder. So first we click on Options, then File Settings, then I will click on any empty slot here and navigate to my sample folder and click OK. Now after clicking OK, folder A1 will become visible in the browser as you can see right here on the left hand side of the screen. And this is how you make FL Studio recognize samples that are located elsewhere like in local disk D. You can also locate samples within your desktop or anywhere within your computer. But I would advise against using your USB as your preferred location to do this because those things get easily lost. And if you want to move your entire FL Studio user folder, you can click on this button right here and select where you want your user folder to be. I already created a video on this, so if you want to watch it, the link will be in the description below. So uh, I didn't want to make this video long, so thank you guys for tuning in and uh, until next time.